I live in New Hampshire, but I love New York. I live in West Virginia, but I love New York. This summer, see some of the most beautiful. This is New York, the largest single concentration of theaters, music halls, and entertainment centers. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Pop-Up Show. It's the show where we basically pop up anywhere. Hey, how are you? Right, you guys got a permit to be here? Um, no, you know what, actually? We should probably take the show on the road. Let's take it on the road. Upstate 6, pop-up show. Yeah, and I mean the middle of nowhere. Right now we're in a field in upstate New York to give my friend Judy a birthday surprise. Give it up for Judy. Bottoms, everybody. We'll be right back. This is Judy, the most outgoing and fearless girl I know. I've known her for so many years, and every time I see her, she leaves me and everyone around her smiling. Her whole life she dreamt of going skydiving, so today her mom's gonna go pick her up. She has no idea. For her 21st birthday, we're gonna take her up in a plane and have her jump out with me. Lou, I'm a little nervous. Don't be. Okay, that helped a little bit. Let's go. I know, it's so good to see you. How many times has Judy asked you to skydive? Multiple times, but I, I told her that she couldn't skydive as long as my two feet were on the ground. Right. So she's going to be very surprised that you're around and you're willingly taking her to skydive today. Correct. What made you think this is the time? We're just going to do it. She's turning 21. It's a big year. It is, and I just decided that it wasn't fair of me to hold her back. She's got wishes and wants and needs, and she expresses that, and I support her. I mean, she's got all kinds of ideas and dreams. We're going to make this the best damn day ever for Judy. Awesome. All right, let's yes, do this. thank you. <laughs> oh. That's deer poop. <laughs> Upstate New York, eat your heart out, New York City. <laughs> Judy has no idea what's about to happen, but this birthday is about to become unforgettable. Are you excited for your sister to skydive today? Get cake first. Cake first? <laughs> we're gonna do, no, we have to skydive first, then we're gonna eat cake. You wanna know why? Because if I eat it now, I'm gonna throw it up in the air. Hey. You know what I mean? Go, come on. Hey, Judy. Hey, Judy. Hi. Hey, Happy birthday. <gasps> Guess what? Guess what? What? You're going skydiving. Oh, my god. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> Me, I'm going to cry. Yeah. <laughs> it's your birthday. Let's go. And one of the latest devices is a parachute top. The parachute is one of the jolliest in captivity. I'm legitimately nervous. Judy's dancing. There you go. It's a magic seat that goes up and up and even up. This is the best day ever. I need a little inspirational speech Here's from you. Song, what, what is we going to do? Just double check these headings. Yourself. I'm going to go this yeah, way. Well, 270 so, for me so is directly awesome. in the middle. Most important. Uh, maybe here? The, no, it's the, the only world for thinking to make the, the world uh, a better across. place. Let's do this. That's all I need to hear. I'm not nervous anymore, but I really am. OK, we're doing this thing. <laughs> here we go. Oh, it's the best day ever. Judy, love you. See, this is the beauty of Judy. While most people will be terrified like me, she's having the time of her life. And she's about to be the second woman in history with Down syndrome to skydive. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And as the chute opens, the rate of descent slows to what is almost a floating sensation. Here we go. Yep. And down he goes. And don't forget, this is a show that will interview people anywhere. How you feeling, Judy? <laughs> if you want to be good parachutists when you grow up, never forget to pull the uh, ball. Okay, 
and gentlemen, my guest right from the sky, Judy. Judy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was unbelievable. We made it. We're on the ground. Oh, definitely, yeah. All right. What was going through your head once you left the plane? What was oh, it like? I, it was um, crazy. Hey, why? Like a volcano. Like a volcano? Yeah. Well, you made me feel a lot better up there, Judy. I saw you and I was like, Judy's awesome. I could do it if Judy can. It's time to properly celebrate your birthday, Judy, okay? <laughs> Lucius? Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Louder! <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Judy. Happy birthday to you. Give it up for Judy, everybody. We landed. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks for doing this. This is amazing. Wow. Let's eat cake, huh? Well, we made it. And thanks to Judy, we're reminded to live life fearlessly on the fly. And just a few miles up the road, another place where people live free. Woodstock, a town in upstate New York with American roots that date back to the 1700s, and a music festival in the late 1960s of the same name that made it famous for peace, love, and harmony. Santana, Jimi Hendrix, Johnny Winter, and that's not all. And though nearly half a million youngsters at the time drove away, some of them stuck around and went to Woodstock, New York the hip country town with that already existing artsy scene. This mix created a cast of hippie characters and a true spirit that still remains today. And one of those original hippies was this guy who called himself Jogging Johnny, and I'm not really sure why. Can I ask you something? Because you're a jogger. Can you, can you do a quick jog of me down the road? I ain't got clearance to take off. This guy just told me for 20 bucks he's gonna make my day. This is the type of stuff in Woodstock I'm hoping to get into. Okay. You know where the Magic Meadow is? I don't. Well, if you go past the monster, down the hill, and make a little curve, and then make another curve, and we're having a drum circle out there tonight. Oh, all right. That was, I thought you were gonna do a magic trick or no, something. No, no, no. There's a $20 tip to the drum circle at the monastery. Out past the monastery. Can I maybe get 10 bucks back for that? It was no, a $20 no, tip, no. really? Well, this is the this is the best businessman in town. Only, all right, thanks. Finally, we found some legit hippies to tell us all about Woodstock. What's up with your suit, man? It seems a little tight, though. I mean, what? you like tight stuff on? Bro. Been here since '61. And wow. Bob Dylan used to live with them. Get out of here. Did Bob Dylan live with you? What was that like? Well, he was just a young kid, and he came here to Woodstock, and he befriended my dad and started playing at the club. Now, this is before he was famous, of course. Bob would have all these people coming over, and I met the Beatles. You know, George Harrison would come all the time, and we'd hang out. What? And... Let me ask you this. Do you think the spirit of these legends is still alive up here? It's seriously diminished. I, at, at times, I feel like a dinosaur, and people are, like, taking pictures of me, like, look, there's, there's a hippie, you know? But when the yuppies come in... When the yuppies come in, they bring way too many people and take up a lot of public space. Back in the day here was free loving, touching, no physical bounds. So we wanted to test out if that would still fly today. By getting uncomfortably close to strangers. You know, looking back at this, this is definitely something you shouldn't be doing during a pandemic, which makes it extra awkward now. Hi there, how are you? How are you? No, I can't complain too much. What brings you up here? Just kind of hanging out, talking to people? No, uh, my wife and dog and I were doing, spending a long weekend up around here, and we thought we'd hit Woodstock. Beautiful. It is, it is. Well, listen, great chat with you. Have a great day. You too. All right, thanks. Let's just feel this moment together. Let me just throw some good energy back. Give me some energy. You're wearing Woodstock. Ooh. Ooh. Carol and Dave, I want to thank you guys for this energy in Woodstock. My name is really Karoli Baba. Karoli Baba and, and Davy Boo Boo. I want to thank you guys. <laughs> you smell great, you guys. Like, can I have a little bit of that? Sure. How does it work? Do I drink just, it? Just you open your mouth. Your whoa, whoa, here. wait a no, second. I'm putting done. something on my tongue in Woodstock. Okay, your mouth and a, dro a drop will fall out. And, and I, do <laughs> I didn't know I was going to do acid up here. And whoa. Well, there's an entire group of drugs which could be loosely called youth drugs. 
world, which are illusionogenic or hallucinogenic in action. That is, they produce illusions, distortions of what you see or hear, or hallucination. All right, it was just basil, something my Italian blood is immune to. Well, for the most part, the people up here are full of peace and love. Good, you do some Oktoberfest stuff. Yes, yes. Sorry. After hanging with this cast of characters, we wanted to make sure we got our money's worth before we left town. So we found the drum circle. Hey, can I have my 20 bucks back? Why not? Man, you really worked me. If I find you, dear, remember, get Jay Little to come to Woodside. All right. Why not? Well, New York, we leave you living out your state slogan, Excelsior, which is Latin for ever upward. And it was nice to experience you outside the city for a change. Happy birthday. Oh, my God. May we always remember to stay in the moment just like the people we met here. Who knows where we'll pop up next, but for this time, we're heading home loving you, New York. Pop-Up Show supports local business, and here's how you can too. Skydive the Ranch, Woodstock Shops, and those local hippies are all open for business. 